Hello again, everyone. Um, oh, uh, a message, and I just sent the person a message. They are okay with me mentioning their names, asking if I can show my level. Um, and um, my game progression, I guess, because there's a lot of people making videos for notoriety. Um, let me just clear the air in terms of what my 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 goals are. I'm a gamer first, and I'm not in this for money. I'm not in this for fame. I think it's really cool that we. I think it's really cool that. I think it's really cool that we have the technology that allows us to be able to broadcast and share gameplay. Um, that's that's always been a dream of mine that we could do something like that. And obviously, we've gotten to the technical age where that is possible. So for me, it's all about fun. It's all about fun. I do this for fun. I do this because there are people that easily get frustrated because they can't figure something out. Um, and through countless hours of gameplay, I have mastered the art of frustration and figured out how to get things done. Um, and so without going into too much detail, um, you know, I like, I like uh, playing Fallout and I am... Um, I consider myself to be a master at sediment building, um, you know, through trial and error. So without, you know, talking too much about that, um, most of this video is just going to be uh, video gameplay. Um, periodically, I will talk about certain things that I'm showing you or focusing on. So if you happen to see certain things and you don't hear any commentary, please, by all means, just uh post the message up and I'll definitely respond to it um, so we're at Grey Garden right now and this is one of the settlements that I just I just refuse to do anything with because I mean it's a bunch of robots come on seriously how you know uh, how interactive can robots be well I realized one thing I stood at I stood at this point of the game and I said you know what they got a good thing going on here so I need to figure something out I need to do something that's worthwhile here so I said okay there's already six um, uh, bodies well not bodies but beings or whatever you want to call the robots um, so all I did was just add to it I didn't put a whole slew of uh, people here you know I just put a few individuals that can get the job done and that's it so what you're looking at is the finished product of what I've done with uh, Grey Garden and I've received a couple of uh, messages asking to show different settlements that I had and how I have them set up um, there's no this is one of the settlements that I have and just to give you guys an example um, just through sanctuary I have quite a few settlements that I have supply lines with and if you see the crisscrossing lines that's actually done on purpose for strategic strategic reasons um, what I've learned through my trial and error of playing fallout is when it comes to settlements if you put too much on one settlement to do everything um, your, your your settlement will it 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 will just falter. It 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 will start to underproduce, and you'll start to have problems where the settlement is just reaching an all time low. So I basically broke the settlements up into individual uh, groups of settlements. So if you look here, um, Green Top Nursery is responsible for. Um, delivering resources to Warwick Homestead and uh, Spectacle Island and um, the castle is responsible for delivering goods and resources to War uh, Spectacle Island and uh, 
Summerville Place. Okay, and I'm actually going to go to that one because that's a really cool place that I'm doing some cool stuff with. Um, so you can see here some settlements are not actually um, being uh, resourced yet or resourced because they are basically functioning on their own. Um, I reorganized this uh, this settlement. And if you guys are familiar with this settlement, um, you realize this is a very, very small settlement. This is even smaller than Hangman's Alley. Um, I'm actually going to go to it because if you look at what I've done with it, you'll be like, wow, that is crazy that you could do something like that with a settlement that size. So um, this is one of the requests that I've got in terms of doing this video. Um, showing what some of my settlements look like and what have I done with some of the more challenging settlements so I'm showing you right now what one of my smaller settlements look like um, and I'm gonna hurry up and put the camera down because I wanna get to a high point where you could see an overall view of this settlement um, so if you look out here that's a wall uh, at the front where that little messed up gate used to be. Well, actually, the gate used to be back here, but you guys know how uh, Overland Station looks. Um, and you could see what I got going on here. And this is that same community that had the little broken up fence. And you could see what I got going here. I got a nice little secured community going. Um, and just to give you a closer tour, so let's look at the front door. Excuse me, Piper. Um, that tree was put there uh, by the game. That wasn't me, and I uh, didn't intentionally make this the entrance, but it's pretty cool because it covers up the entrance. So here's the entrance that uh, I made myself. Obviously, it's not stopping anybody from getting in, but we have Old Faithful right here that's manhandling anything coming through the door. Uh, we got the guard post up here. Got the guard post up here. We got somebody guarding that. Uh, just to give you an overall view of this community. Um, I really could not figure out what to do with this community because it was just in shambles. And I didn't know if doing something like this would work. But it actually does. You can see my turrets covering the back end of the uh, community there and uh got my wall up here so nobody's getting in uh there's no getting in there it's the only thing i could put there that would actually keep anything or body out um so when you get right here you can kind of see that this particular area is heavily defended because somebody can easily just step up here and you know climb over and start attacking the settlement so i had to make sure that you know i had some pretty effective defenses going on over here um so i got my turret my laser turret machine gun machine gun laser turret so this is the front line defense not to mention um my guard right there and uh you're obviously not getting through this way so you 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 have two ways to try to get into this community and um one way is your best option but definitely once you get inside the settlement um you have all of these uh happy people here so you guys can see um generators behind the walls and um we got the artillery cannon there yes an artillery cannon is sitting in this community and Again, if you guys remember when this community first got um, uh, discovered, when you discovered it yourself, if you have, um, you know how this looked before uh, you decided to do anything with it. So this is kind of giving you an idea of how you could be effective. The garden that they had was pretty atrocious, so I just... Re, I just stored everything that they had there and just redid everything. Made a nice, well-aligned uh, uh, row of uh, mutt fruit trees. Um, and I got the bar here, which you can see people uh, shopping and 
smoking and all that good stuff. Got the workbench here. Got a got a little bench here. You know, got some light for everybody to see and stuff. Uh, got the little cook station right here in the back. You know, so it don't get in the way of everybody cooking. Have a little small generator here just to, you know, produce lighting in this area. Um, so you can see they're taking a break, which is cool. I like that. Um, she's having some Joe. Got a power line to connect everything. Got a large generator um, to make sure that I have enough power to run everything. I know you're looking at you're looking at this big thing up here, and I'm sure you see that missile launcher um, swinging back and forth. Um, this serves no aesthetic purpose, but if you look at it from, let's go up here. It's actually I'm actually proud of this. So if you look at this, you can see the ceiling fans going up there. Um, looks kind of shambly from the outside, but that's okay. It looks better on the inside. So if we go up here, right? Okay. This is what's really cool about this. So you have your entrance right here. You come in, right? Got your TV for the people that's laying on the beds. You got a little chair there. You got your uh, storage for your all your grenades and stuff. I have one of those in every community. Um, you got your desk here, you know, in case you want to read or do something important. You know, nice little picture on the wall. Haven't figured out what I'm gonna put here. Oh, and yes, no smoking. Thank you. Um, got a nice little picture over here. Corner bed. Radio playing some good music. Another bed right here. Um, if you look down, if you notice that I have the little rugs in front of all the beds, these things right here, although it makes no sense in actuality, these things actually add to your community's happiness. You know, when you step out of bed, if you step on a nice, soft rug, that feels better than stepping on cold wood floors, don't you guys think? Yeah, me too. So, um, I'm not done decorating in here, but for the most part, I just wanted to make it look lively and homey and, you know, all that good stuff. So, that's the inside here. So, if you notice, there's two doors. There's the entrance there. And then, uh, this door goes out onto the roof. So if we close this, we have a turret right there that monitors the backside and has a pretty good range too. Um I'm yeah, I kind of did this pretty fast, so I'm going to restructure it and make it look a whole lot different, but I kind of started rolling with an idea and it just kind of took off from there. So here's a guard tower can overlook everything from here. If I go into my inventory and I pick one of my high-powered scope weapons and you look through the scope with me I'm trying to see where would it be located okay that's the brewery I'm trying to see okay yeah here we go if you look through the scope um, no that's not it where is it at where is it at that's the that's the brewery I think no, no, you're not going to be able to see it. I thought you could see it from here. I thought you could see one of my other other settlements pretty bright from a distance. Anyway, um, we have a little conduit line here or a pylon. So if you look up there, um, I would have to build a couple of ladders to actually get up there. But I have four missile launchers that are positioned in every in every direction uh, north south east and west so they basically cover every single corner of this area um, so there's no getting close and I put them up there because they have a pretty far reach and they can hit most targets before they even get close to the settlement um, so from this point, this vantage point, you can see what it looks like from an aerial view. Um, I got my gunner's cabin right there. Uh, you can see the scavenging station that uh, you saw if you watched the previous video I did. 
Um, there's a scavenging station at every one of my settlements, and someone is always working on it. Um, water, and let's see. Let's look at the rating on this community. Um, I know you guys look at the happiness rating and say, well, your happiness is low. Well, it's low because I rebuilt this community. I mean, I scrapped everything that was here before. The, the two ladies that um, slept in here... Um, they don't even sleep in here anymore. I actually put them over here and you can see they're actually going up there and getting on their beds, I believe. Yep. Um, I put them over there because this building has no windows and it has no door and you can actually see somebody going in there now. Oh, there's a few people in here. So yeah, I put the, the primary residence in there, um, and it changed the happiness for the better. Um, so the main focus that I want you guys to pay attention to is not the happiness rating, but everything else. So you say for a small community like this, why do you have such a high defense rating? Well, you have to understand something. The type of uh, food that you choose to um, put in your community makes all the difference in the world in terms of how often um, your settlement settlements are attacked um, if you put the, the the fruit that that only creates uh, like half a point of uh, resources or food actually um, then you're not gonna get attacked as much it's when you put the high value food like the mutt fruit if you put large rows of mutt fruit then they're more likely to attack so that's the whole purpose of the high defense rating to basically uh, deter the enemy from trying to attack. Um, and if they see your defenses, then they're more likely to um, bypass it altogether. Um, so that was another reason why I closed this community in. Um, I only have 19 power because it's not a large community so I don't need a lot of power in this community um, water uh, because there's no close water source within your uh, settlement building limit um, beyond the green line actually there's no water source um, that you could put a large water purifier in so um, you basically just have to put a bunch of water pumps all around the settlement um, there's only seven people, so I would say 12 water is good. But you put more than enough water because you want your happiness, you know, if it's low, you want your happiness to get up. Um, so after redoing this community, this is the finished product. I'm not going to do anything else with this community. If it grows, it grows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But um, this, this is just to give you an idea of what you can do with a small community. And how a small community can look actually like a big community. So if you use your border, um, the little green area, the limit to building. If you use that effectively, you can actually make really good use of your settlement and the resources. Um, I was really close to going over my build limit. Because um, I had way more stuff than this. So I had to reduce a lot of stuff. And I had to use what made sense. And this is the finished product of that, as you can see here. So the main focus was defenses, um, the crops, because in the beginning there was r literally no crops in this community. Um, I have the artillery striker there, um, you know, and I have I had to put that extra house over there because there wasn't enough space up here. There's only five beds there. And there's a uh, there's I believe there's only one bed in that in that shack there. Let's go take a look. Um, and that one generator can pretty much power everything. And I don't know what's going on with the lights. It's getting power. Oh, okay, there it is. Um, okay, there's only one bed in here, but you can see I have a dresser, a radio, um, a light. Um, the picture in the background um, so there's not a whole lot going on in here um, just enough to make the guy feel at home and comfortable um, 
and that's the effective use of the space uh, again I'm not concerned with the aesthetics here at least not for this community so um, that's what I've done with that and then uh, you can see on the outside here I have attached a uh, conduit uh, to attach the lights to which that spotlight basically keeps an eye on everything in the community um, uh, let's see the generator oh I got a barbecue pit here uh, again this is little things that adds to your community's happiness you know stuff like that although you may never see nobody barbecue on it but just the fact that they know it's there you know makes them feel good I could have put a stove but it would have been overkill um, because it's like there's not a lot of people for that and then there's a cook station so there's no point um, you can see these uh, bridge uh, platforms shack bridges um, they're not actually crushing the trees they actually put them in between the trees so uh, it, 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 it works it works you know it, it really works here so um, that's what I've done there oh we were supposed Such to take a look at this you pr let me turn this off you probably no you can't see it from here I'll probably have to go a little higher or farther away but if you go up here and I believe maybe from here yeah you can see it uh, let's look through my gun scope uh, you can see it up there you see the rocket launcher facing west uh, south east and there's another one facing north so that's the bulk of my uh, defense right there and since they are long range they have long range capability uh, they're able to hit targets a lot sooner than these other ones and I have the laser target the, the laser turret there for um, maximum fire support and uh, you know I got a, a bunch of the turrets here and then I have another laser turret right there um, and my guard tower so this is pretty much Oberlin station uh, one of the communities I don't know if anybody is doing anything with it or not but this is what I've effectively done with this community and um, there's no reason to do too much here um, and I've also found out something interesting too you guys see that flag right there uh, you can't see all my light but you, you see that flag the Minutemen flag what I didn't realize is in a new settlement that you take over or uh, find or whatever if you put that flag up and you use your flare gun to signal the Minutemen they'll be at your community in lightning speed to assist in any type of attack going on if you're uh, flying the the you know the community colors so I found that to be really interesting um, I, um, I did that at a couple of communities and uh, they show up lickety split so it, it's pretty cool you get backup for you know your community when it's being attacked I mean if you have time to shoot your flare off um, but anyway that's Oberlin station um, and that's what I've done um, with the resources that I've had that I have and um, the space that I've been given but everything is effectively done and since this is a short wall and you could easily walk over it that's the purpose of the heavy turrets at the front because I don't have the manpower I definitely have to rely on turrets um, but they are effectively placed once these turrets here detect a hostile target those rocket launchers are up there are gonna zero in on them um, at least this one here and maybe that one but uh, from their vantage point they can pretty much see everything uh, that the lower level turrets can't see uh, and uh, that's the community here as a whole uh, when I started the video I was at a different community which I'm going back to but let's go to another community uh, hangman's alley just to kind of give you guys an idea of what to do with small spaces or small communities if you're like me and you saw um, hangman's alley for the first time just like Oberlin station and you were like Jesus Christ this is small you can't really do nothing with it you know there's nothing to do with the space it's like wow 
You know what I mean? It's, it's like, really? What can you do? It, there's nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? Just use what's already there. But um, I am a very uh, imaginative person, and I've come up with an ingenious way to create a large community out of a small community. And you guys will see shortly um, once we get to the settlement. Um, it's pretty cool uh, what I've done. So here we are at the outskirts of the gates. Uh, let's go here. Oh, what is that doing there? Ah, okay. So if you come here, this is the... Oops, sorry, Piper. Didn't mean to do that. So if you come here... Oh, let's get this guy. Oh, two of them. So if you look here, this is one entrance to um, Hangman's Alley, okay? And I know you guys uh, saw me when I was panning up. You saw something up top. I'm going to show you what that is in a second. Uh, guard tower right there. So you see my scavenging station. You're going to see these in every video you watch of mine. You're going to see um, scavenging stations at all of my settlements. Those are paramount. Um, because in the beginning of the game, when you're first starting out, these things add resources that you otherwise would have to go and uh, look for. Got my turret right there, um, water there. If you look at how I've placed fruit, um, I have some uh, tato plants here, only a few, and that's because um, because adhesives are very hard to come across. You need tato plants and corn, purified water, um, and I forgot what the other one was, uh, to make adhesives. So I just keep a few of those and go you know, to other settlements and pick them. Um, and then you can see in this small space, I have created a nice full garden. So we go here, look at there another nice full garden uh, I got some more over here look at this yeah I got them going all the way around so that's quite a bit of uh, food there so let's see what the ratings are here okay so we have 13 people 24 food 18 water uh, 40 power and I'm gonna show you where the power is coming from too um, 33 defense, uh, 16 beds, um, and uh, the happiness is 79, and it's going up. So you can see my artillery striker here. You're thinking, well, how the hell? Well, let's just see. So it has an actual clear shot from the sky, or from that point. Um, this shack was already here. Uh, let's go in it. I have taken everything out of here. I have cleared it out and I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with it because I'm almost at my build limit. Um, but uh, you can see I got a picture on the outside of this building that I've that I've made. Um, this was a hole in the wall and I put a, a steel frame here with the door. Um, and there's the weapons bench. I'm actually going to put an armor bench in here too because uh, there's actually enough space to do so. Um, let's get rid of this because I don't need it. Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot I put that there. Yep, I put a picture by the workbench. Um, this was a, this was a hole, so I put that there. Um, right there too, so I made it a closed-in space. If push came to shove and I had to, um, I don't know where this came from. If push come to shove and I had to make this a livable space, it is very durable. It is very doable. I can move this out of here, put that somewhere else. Um, so that's the work area there. Okay. Um, what you got cooking there, buddy? Oh, mole rat sting wing stew, huh? All right, cool. Um, hi there. All right. Now, I have a store in this community, but you don't see it, do you? No. So let's go uh, a little higher. Let's see what we got going on here. You enjoying that food there, buddy? Good job. 
Alright, let's go up. Hmm, what do we have here? We have a settler sitting on a bench. Ah, what do we, oh, what do we have here? We have a picture there. We have a Minuteman flag there. We have light here. We have a jukebox. Ah, what's back here? A bar, maybe? No. Ah, another place for settlers to sleep. And we got another picture on the wall. Um, this space is too small to put furniture, so I left it uh, as is. Let's see what's going on back here. Ah, what do we have here? Look. A turret guarding the back door. Nice, sweet. Okay. Right, I just fell through the floor. I did not realize that. Okay, so I have to. Uh, let's clear this out. Okay, so let's go back up here. So you can see that there's a roof here, and obviously there's more stuff going on on top. So here's the community of Hangman's Alley. And lady, I don't know what you just said, but um, I'm doing a little tour here. So you can see a ladder there, which means that there's another area that goes up. Yeah, I know you're like, wow, that's amazing. How can a guy, how can somebody make something so big out of something so small? Um, here's a really cool part about what I'm getting ready to show you next. Uh, I have no idea what to do with this area right here. I know I want to do something, but I just don't know what. Um, so uh, I'm still debating that. Um, there's another stool there. Um, and this, this area right here um, is still a work in progress. So let's go up the ladder here and see what we see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. Now, I know you're thinking, now, how the hell do you get something like this in a community so small? Right? Well, I'm going to show you the outside of the building, but I just want you to see. You can see these beds are purposely put in a certain way so you can walk through here. See that? I can walk all the way down without uh, being hit by a bed or the pole. And I designed it like that so that the settlers can weave in and out of their beds with ease. Yep, here's my toilet. Uh, no smoking sign. Pictures on a wall. Little table with a radio. Um, again, these are things that add to the settlers' happiness. Um, got a couple of pictures there. There was a big window there, so I had to cover those up. Uh, you can see the lights here. Now this long dangling line, that is that has nothing to do with the community. That's from the power lines that were already there. So, um, you guys can clearly see that I can walk through here. Uh, no, I don't want to sleep. Let's move this bed. I don't like it. It's uneven. Um... Uh, let's see, let's move this uh, about right there. Um, everything that I do um, in all of my communities have a strategic purpose to them. I don't just do stuff just because it looks good. It has to not only look good, but it has to make sense. If that makes sense. So you can see if I stand right here, if you walk down either direction, there's a uniform to all the beds. Uh, with the exception of a few. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust that. But anyway, um, uh, you can see how effectively I've used space. And if you look at this right here, that's actually part of another building. Um, and I basically just utilized all the space that was given to me by the surrounding area. And you can look through here and see that there's buildings on the back wall. Um, so I effectively used the space wisely. Now, if you look at the power, you're going to ask yourself one thing. And here's the other area. I know you're like, wow, this is pretty cool. This guy made a pretty big space. So this is the roof, right? And here's two generators. Now I know you're saying, well, these are the medium generators. And they only generate five power each. That's only ten. So you have forty. Well, I'm gonna interestingly show you where the other power generators are located. And for me to have forty, 
that means that I would have to have big generators. So that's what I want you guys to see. See right here? The bar to the community. It's actually up top, off the ground. That is also done for strategic purposes because although this is a well enclosed community, raiders will still try to attack it. Um, so I don't want to have to spend money to rebuild my bar, so I just put it up here. You can see that there's a uh, bench here. I move that away from the wall a little bit. Okay. Um, there's a couple of chairs there, um, the bar, there's a TV, uh, there's a, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, a summer table, I guess, a um, couple of chairs there, um, and everybody is able to move around, um, fairly easily, um, up here, and I got the conduit connected to the conduit line down there to run power to the bottom half of the ground. Um, and you can see the two generators are sitting on top of the roof of the building that had the two beds in it. And you can see from here, uh, obviously the radio beacon. Here's something you guys may not have noticed. Um, you see these things right here? You could actually put power lines in them. They're not just there for aesthetic show. But I discovered this on accident. You could actually put these things behind those rails. And you could actually put one up there, too. Um, so you could see by looking at this that uh, with just a little ingenuity and a little patience and, you know, just basically looking at what the game is giving you to work with, you can see that there's quite a few things you can do. So um, I have a functioning society up here. Again, I have 13 people and usually... For someone that doesn't have the imag imaginative uh, ability, like some some others may have, um, you're not gonna be able to have 13 people living here because you're gonna limit what you think. So um, this is to give you guys an idea of what you can do, um, and I have that that section blocked off. Anyway, um, this is to give you an idea of what you can do with the limited amount of space that you have. Um, if you can't build out, then build up. Okay. So now, back to the original question of how do you have 40 power but you only have two visible uh, generators that um, are only producing 10 power? So that is a very interesting question. Um, throughout everything you've seen in this video, you haven't seen anything else but these two generators. So let's find out where those other generators are. So if you come right here, and we put this right, uh, wait a minute, uh, come on. Stay up there. Where'd it go? Uh, please stay there. Okay, now you don't. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. There it goes. Come on. I'm trying to do something here. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, now. See that? The generators are effectively or uh, uh, strategically placed on uh, the roof of the building. No, where's the other ladder at? Oh. So, let's go and take a look up here. Uh, okay. So, this is the roof of Hangman's Alley. And you can see that I have three large generators here. Here is the bulk of my power. And if you look down, if you look across, you can see that I have a turret right here guarding the back entrance. And you can see uh, just how close I was able to build into the wall. I'm going to show you from the ground how it looks. It looks really cool. 
Um, this is an open space here, but nothing in that I need to worry about. But you can see how high up I am. I am like nearly three stories high. Um, and if I were to fall, if I were to fall, I would probably die. Um, so there's a there's a a really good limit to what you can build and how you can build. So if we go over here, that's the back door to Hangman's Alley. You can see the green borderline there. So I couldn't build to that point. Um, I would have liked to, but I couldn't build to that point. Um, if you look over here, uh, still very high up. Um, I wanted to build behind this sign, which would have been really cool to put turrets and stuff up there. But I guess the border, the green border, um, it's invisible back there. It wouldn't let me build anything. So you can see that my three large generators are sitting on the roof here and they're out of harm's reach and I don't ever have to worry about them being attacked. Uh, neither do I have to worry about my other um, generators either because they're on a roof. So majority of the action takes place on the ground. Um, so I don't need that there. I'm going to have to take that. Um, so uh, that is what I effectively and strategically have done with my um, generators. Um, so you can see where the bulk of you could see where the bulk of the power is coming from and as you can see through my settlement um, it, it's a it's a pretty effectively ran settlement um, pretty nice I um, and if you're just joining thank you for for joining um, just basically uh, showing different videos I've had a request to show videos of different settlements um, I've had people ask me what do you do with some of the smaller settlement settlements that um, don't basically uh, have any uh, potential reward and I'm basically showing what you can do with a settlement as small as Hangman's Alley so uh, let me scrap this let me put this back here um, and I'm this is a walk around tour and again if you're just joining uh, thank you for joining um, but if you look there's a pylon right here um, and that is actually a usable space that you can put uh, a pylon in and a lot of people well I don't think not too many people know this so uh, I found this on accident so I don't know if anyone anyone has uh, done this before um, but if you if you just use a little imagination um, you can find very clever ways of using your resources um, to build in the community and also to this space you can also put stuff up here too not sure what but you can use it my radio beacon is off the ground um, and I actually have enough people here so I'm gonna turn this off we don't need any more people here um, but here's a little bar area um, that I built again it's off the ground um, so if you've already visited hangman's uh, alley then you already know how Hangman's Alley looks. So you can see what I have going on in this community. I have an artillery cannon. Uh, I have a picture right there on the structure that I built. Um, some more uh, mutt fruit. Um, it's just effective managing of your resources and a settlement. Um, I have more than enough people here to not only run the gardens, I have enough people to put on defensive posts um, and I have enough water and resources I'm almost at my build limit so uh, this building I had to scrap everything in it and just use resources in uh, right places and you can see here that I have mutt fruits all over this area a couple of tato plants but a lot of this ground is actual dirt so I know it looks like pavement but it's actual dirt so if you utilize it even this area right here but because I reached my build limit I couldn't put more than that and then you can see right here I also have mud fruits here 
So um, it's just effective use of the area that you're given. Um, this was a hole in the wall and I basically turned it into another room. It's probably going to be a workshop area. Got a picture right there. Again, these things are just, they, they add to the community's happiness. And a lot of people don't utilize this stuff, but I do. Um, it adds to the happiness. I've actually put pictures up and watched the happiness go up. You know, sometimes a point at a time, sometimes three. So it, it definitely works. Um, some people don't realize what these things do or how effective they can be in terms of your settlement. Um, but they definitely help. Uh, always keep at least one or two of these at your settlement. Um, the scavenging stations are paramount, especially if you're starting off for the first time. Um, if you're just starting the game or if you decide to start a new game, um, once you have the local leader perk, I think it takes the local leader perk to build one of these. But once you build one of these, um, put somebody on it right away because they'll start generating resources for your community. And all the resources that it generates, um, once you uh, put somebody on it, those resources are used to add more to your community. Um, there are resources for everything that you could possibly think of to build in the community, as well as, uh, you know, your shops. So definitely put somebody on one of those ASAP. Um, uh, guard tower right there. Now, what I would like to show now is the building that you actually let's go back up here because um, some people didn't see it so you go up here little sitting area uh, Miniman flag uh, again another picture um, effective use of the space that I was given um, you can see here uh, two people sleeps here um, if I take this away there's a turret right there guarding the back door um, the, the space is too small to put furniture and stuff like that, so I just left it as the two beds. But the picture works nice in here with the light. I got the bench for people to sit down, got the music for people to listen to. Um, and if you uh, are just joining this flag here, I was explaining earlier in the video that if you actually put these flags on your communities, if you uh, support the Minutemen, if you put these flags, or Brotherhood of Steel, whichever, if you put these flags in your community and you shoot off a flare when your community is being attacked, the Minutemen will come like lightning fast. Um, so these flags are not just for show. They're actually a show of support. And as long as you fly these colors, um, the Minutemen will show up. Um, I've done it a couple of times and uh, it does work. Um, again, another bench here. These little, like, again, these little quirks, these little things they add to your community's happiness yeah they really work i haven't figured out what to do with this area here um but if you look here where i was just at was the bar before i jumped off the roof um but here's the bar area um where people can come and sit down and have a drink eat something there's a tv back there all that good stuff and believe it or not you can actually climb on that roof back there and actually walk up those stairs and climb on the roof. It's pretty pretty crazy. Um, but this is the community from the uh, rooftop area. Again, there's two uh, five power generators right there, and you, the other two, the other three are on the roof. Uh, here's a space that I'm still building on, and here's uh, some more of. The building that I made Specific. you can see how big this yeah, is and, uh, sense, this stretches all the way to the front entrance or back entrance whichever you prefer um, so you can see this is smack dab against the wall uh, there's no way for anybody to fall through there I uh, got the little toilet thing here stand with the radio pictures no smoking sign these little things uh, matter to the community I can't stress that enough Put pictures up. Um, put little stuff like this. You know, if you have a plunger, and I still haven't done it, um, I gotta go get a plunger. Um, but if you put a plunger next to the toilet, that stuff adds to your community's happiness. It's it's basically showing that you care about them and you want them to be happy. 
Um, and that's pretty much what that's doing. Um, so if we go, uh, come on, man, come upstairs, come on. So if we go down here, let's look at this stuff from the bottom. How did I effectively build this? Okay, so let's look. You can look and see how things were effectively re effectively placed. Sometimes you can't use the big tiles, you have to use the smaller ones. Um, it, it's like any puzzle. Um, you figure out what pieces go where, how it works. You can see these pieces go up against the wall. Um, and right here too. You can see, actually if you look right here, one of the um, little smaller wood tiles actually fit it inside of the furnace that goes up to the building. So it actually morphed into it. Um, I guess you could build around it, but that's what happened. Um, some more of the floor flooring that was used to create the community. Because the bigger tiles wouldn't work the way I wanted them to, I had to use the smaller ones uh, mainly for the outside purpose. Um, so that's that part right there. Um, then here's the bigger building. That's the bridge, well, I, what I call the bridge, that connects all the way across. If you come out here, you can actually see it really good. See how it's connected? Let me turn this off. Okay, you can see how it's connected to the concrete part of the building, the foundation. Um, and if you look all the way around, uh, everything is supported by other... Uh, uh, mounted structures and you can see this is high off the ground so there's no attacking it um, and that's flush against the wall and you can see right there where I utilize that corner space I use that space really good um, so this is what I've done with the resources for hangman's alley and you can see that it's pretty well put together. Let's close this door and look here. So you can see from here oh you know what the back end of those generators are exposed. I might have to move those forward a little bit. But you can see that it's pretty much built into the buildings the adjacent buildings and there's no getting in or around them. So uh, this is pretty well put together pretty well thought out. Um, and I got my guard tower right there. Again, I got the doorway right here. Uh, this community was attacked not too long ago, and the raiders couldn't even get past this point um, because all of the community members basically just rushed forward and uh, basically kept them trapped here while the gunner up top uh, just whipped out her um, rotating uh, automatic laser uh gun and just rip them to shreds then I got a turret here turret there um, and if you look at the defenses uh, my defense is only 33 and that's because this is a small community there's no need for a defensive rating of a hundred or better and you can see right here I have the door blocked yeah there's no getting through there that door is blocked so there's effectively only one way in, so we're going to have to try really hard. Um, so I just cut my radio beacon off, so I won't be getting any more settlers. I have 13 settlers, uh, 15 beds. I can add two more settlers if I wanted to, but uh, this community is pretty well set at 13. There's more than enough people to run this place. So, um, this guard tower and this right here, all the this doorway all this if you um, took over hangman's alley this stuff was already here I just left it in place I, I saw no need to destroy it I just left it in place and used what was already there so it was less resources that I had to use um, so this is what effective use of your resources is all about um, I put that door there as more of a deterrent um, to slow them down so once they open that door, the person at the guard tower starts to attack them. Once that person starts shooting, everyone in here rushes to uh, that person's aid. 
and uh, effectively they have to go through this door as well and with the community uh, basically blocking them off um, this turret here and that turret there uh, will likely finish them off so you can see that effective use of the community resources has really been utilized to the max here um, and I was able to get an artillery cannon in the community as well so if you know um, what hangman's alley looks like um, on your game save file then you would know that this is extraordinary compared to what it looks like before any work is done to it so this is what I've done with hangman's alley and again answering the question of well what can I do with a smaller community like a hangman's alley that really is too small to really build anything well by looking at this video and looking at what I've built here you can see that quite a bit can be done um, you just gotta know what your limits are and I know from down here oh <laughs> picture here uh, golf court there uh, not golf court uh, basketball court there um, just little things that I'm doing to you know raise the happiness of the community um, and that's basically it um, I redid this community um, I just basically use this shack but Raiders would hit it when I had only a few plants and I didn't have enough people um, so I had to do something about that and what you see now is far different than what I had before so um, I've effectively used every resource available to me and put everything strategically that um, made sense um, so it not only has to work as I've said before in the video but it also has to make sense everything you do in the communities has to make sense you want your happiness to go up you want it to stay up do something that makes sense don't overdo anything don't put more resources in water than food don't put more resources in food over power everything has a balance the communities don't don't care about how much power you have as long as there's working lights don't matter if it's just one light as long as there's working lights that's all they care about what they care about more so are beds not having to sleep in cold weather when you build a, a structure put doors don't just put an open airway it's just like sleeping outside they don't like that so um, just be smart and what you build for your communities and um, your happiness will go up and it won't drop as long as you maintain your communities so that's that community there um, I have a, another small community uh, where is it at uh, Grey Garden now this has been my pet project because I refuse to do anything in Grey Garden um, it was just a bunch of robots um, the area was too open and I said you know what I, I, I just refused it, it's too open so I just kept debating and debating and wondering whether or not I should do anything with that community and I said you know what I'll do something with it because I have too many large settlements so I want to try to focus on the smaller settlements so I looked at what benefit um, that I have um, with this community and the one thing that I saw was that it had the greenhouse a pretty big greenhouse um, that you can pretty much put whatever you want in it um, so let's start back here I have a guard tower here watching this back road and you can see he's pretty well armored and uh, I got all the best gear on him and all of my guys here have all the best gear um, that's another thing too um, when you put guys on guard towers give them the absolute best weapons spend resources to level up weapons not level up weapons but you know mod your weapons give them weapons you're gonna find weapons all the time out in the wastelands you know you're gonna find weapons that you're not gonna be able to use give them to your community members especially the ones that are gonna be guarding the community um, I close off these back entrances uh, because I wanted to limit how many access ways 
um, enemies had to infiltrate the structure or your community. So I have this guard tower here. And if you come around this corner, I have another one right here. The taller ones because there's a, a steep slope here. So it allows him to see farther. And then I have another one here. And if you look at all of my guys, they're all pretty well armored. Um, so I make absolute sure that my communities are well guarded. And then if you come over here, I have another guard tower. And yeah. they are well armored. So they and all of their armor is of the highest quality. As as high as I can uh, uh, fix it up. So now let's start to look at defenses. I'll start with defenses first. So you see here I have two lights, two spotlights, and they're not all over the community because um, through all the attacks that have taken place on my community, the attacks seem to happen in certain directions. So. You can see that these lights are actually patrolling the sections that are always hit. You can see the choke points. Um, here's an area where the enemy likes to come through. So what I have effectively done is close that area off so they can't get through. And you can see another spotlight here, which this is not connected. So why is it moving? Okay, that's weird. That's extremely weird. Uh, okay, let's store this. So, you can see... Uh, oh, that's pretty cheesy. Oh, that's real cheesy. Anyway, um, this area has been blocked off. Um, I'm not showing what's above my head because I want to uh, surprise you guys with what looks cool. Um, so this is the garden, which is not closed off, which I'm actually going to close off because it's just too open and I've been hit a couple of times and I had to replace every single plant more than once. So here's another choke point right here with the laser trip wire that's connected to arc mines or arc traps, whatever you want to call them. So there's one over there, here, and there, and here's another laser trip wire connected to this big boy. Okay. Um, this is just here so I can put a ladder to it for quick access, and uh, I have a ladder up here that I actually keep there uh, so I don't have to keep regenerating the ladder, but I'm going to get to that in a second. So in here, you can see that this is pretty large enough uh, type of garden. So I can add more plants in here if I wanted to, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's that guard tower here. You can see my guys pretty well armored there. Um, uh, another laser trip wire here, um, and that is for the radiation mine. Um, and you can see that I can pass harmlessly through that laser trip wire because I have every single thing connected to a terminal which operates all of my gadgets okay here's a store here's one of my stores um, and why is it backwards okay that's not supposed to be like ah uh, why do I need to repair it really That's weird. Okay. Um, I need to move that forward a little bit. Okay. Okay, so they can effectively get in here. Okay. As you saw from my previous communities, you can see, again, scavenger stations. Very key to uh, generating resources. Um, some communities, you may not um, do work in them. Um, but some communities you will and you want to um, have your communities get involved in keeping the community together and doing work in it so you want them to uh, stay active in the community so keep them busy give them something to do 
Um, but definitely remember that you have to have people that are free and not doing anything in order to shop at your shops. Okay. Here's another area. If you guys remember the Great Garden through your playthrough, uh, you can remember that this area was open. Anybody could easily walk over here. I've sensed in my play uh, of the game have blocked that off so you can't get through here at all um, so that's blocked off um, you can see here on these raised platforms I have the weapon station the armor station um, workbench everything in the same area I have all this area blocked off so there's no getting over here all right and obviously you can see my uh, power and everything running um, you can see my turrets um, all along the perimeter of the greenhouse so if you do a pan here let's do this so if I come over here you can pretty much see my community Okay, so that's the community from a wider shot. Now, let's do this. Let's show you what effective ways I have used resources here. So if we come here, let's go up here. Let's take this with us. Come on. Okay, here we go. So go up here, jump across. This is the roof of my community's uh, living quarters. Um, so you can see I have a turret here, which overlooks that guard tower. I have a turret here, which overlooks that guard tower. And if you come over here, I have a missile turret, which overlooks that guard tower, not to mention the turrets that I have sitting on the outside of the community. So if you come over here, I have this turret, which monitors the farther side of the community. Uh, heavy laser turret right here, which has a pretty long reach. And that laser turret can watch everything on that ridge. Okay, another heavy laser turret right here, which can monitor everything across that ridge. This is the best part of this community. Now you can see that I have 35 power. Although you didn't see on the ground, you didn't see any um, generators at all. So you're probably wondering where the hell is all that power coming from? Well, let's follow the power lines. Ah, you saw that, right? Okay, let's come around here. Let's turn this off. Ah, what do we have here? We have a building on top of a building and let's open this up and take a look wow what do we have here we have two large generators and three count them three medium generators um and the power pylon there in the back so you can see how geniusly and strategically i have placed my generators absolutely nowhere near the ground um, these things require an incredible amount of resources to build. So if you allow raiders and such to destroy your uh, generators, that's that's a lot of resources lost. And it takes just as many to rebuild it. So I have come up with a very genius way of keeping my generators safe. And the interesting thing and the coolest thing about this is, check this out. I can walk in here. Wait a minute, where's it at? Okay, here we go. I can wait a minute. Wait a minute. Never mind. Okay, I can move. So, um, you can see how a lot of thought went into um, setting this up right. You got a boo?
So, uh, this is the effective use of my uh, resources and what I came up with to uh, to use my resources for. Hurry up, Junior. Hurry up. Get over here. Get over here. Hurry up. Sit down, Anna. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway. Um, so, that's effective use of my uh, resources there. Um, I'm learning that my uh, broadcast is being affected by something. I don't know what. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick uh, walkthrough of the community itself. And uh, just really quick, show you guys what I got set up here. And how this community is looking um, so far. And what I have going on here. And you can see that I have a store inside the community uh, shelter itself. All of the beds have trunks. Um, chem station inside. Oh, and yes, it is a tree house. And I'm going to go outside and show you guys the tree house. And if you look here really, really quick, I have my terminal set up to monitor all of my my uh, connected devices activities. So uh, let's go down and look at this community from a distance. Hopefully the video isn't lagging on you guys. So that's what it looks like. So if we go down here, you can see what it looks like from the front. You can see my two turrets right there. Um, before this video gets um, bad, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, so thank you guys, whoever uh, watched. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to do other videos on how to strategically use your resources to um, manage your settlements. So uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, it's appreciated. Um, you guys have a good day. Take care.